right, this is um, the first evolution of my Garduino project. Um, so the whole idea is I want to be able to create an indoor um, garden for growing vegetables and herbs and that sort of thing um, in a city apartment. So I don't have any green space, any outdoor space in, this, in our tiny little apartment here in the city. And so um, this kind of evolved in uh, wanting to, to make something that could grow. And so I'm like notoriously known to kill whatever I grow. So I wanted to create something as automated as possible um, that I'd be able to grow um, whatever it is we wanted any time of the year. Um, and so this is the, um, we just, I just used one of those uh, water bottles from a like water machine, you know. Um, and I cut it out and um, up top, I don't know if you can see up in there, there's actually an LED light. Um, and I think it's 8 watts um, actual that it uses. Um, but it has red and blue LED lights. Um, and you can see in there there's just some little um, seeds that I planted a few days ago in there. And um, there's actually a moisture sensor. And everything is connected and controlled. I don't know if you can see it very well. By an Arduino. There's the board. It gives the information of the temperature. Let's see. Humidity. There's your soil moisture reading. So I just watered it, so it's pretty high. Um, gives you your light status. And the amount of time left in this, this particular lighting cycle. Um, so to actually create this, I used... This is a total mess. Let me open it up. Um, but inside, I don't know, here's your Arduino uh, with a proto shield and a little tiny breadboard on top of it. Um, over here, I have a four relay module that's actually connected to the light, uh, the the uh, the outlet for the light bulb, um, which it's spliced right in here. Probably shouldn't touch it. And then over here on my breadboard, I just have my uh, 16 by 2 LCD. Um, that's kind of just giving you output. Um, over here is a um, humidity and temperature sensor. So ideally, this will be inside of the actual um, the actual growing space. Um, but I just haven't, um, I just haven't broken it out yet. But that's it. I just got this. Is actually, this case right here is a pretty nice case for this. But it was just I got it at IKEA. It's the one that the little screws and the mounting, uh, the wall mounts come with. So they're they're really cheap. If you need screws, it's a good little box to use. Um, but just to show you what it looks like, so if you just pull this, I have it where I cut the the bottom out. So you can actually just pull the grow light off. And I don't know if you can see very well, um, but like right here, I f I didn't label <laughs> whatever it was I was growing, but I think this is uh, basil leaves. Someone can tell me. But so this has been running for three days. Um, it's been giving 12 hours um, a day of light, um, and some of the seeds I weren't too sure if they'd work or not. I um, mean, these are just little um, old, uh, just reused um, plastic bottles, and I poked holes in the bottom. And so basically that's my first iteration. I don't know if you want to see this a little more carefully. This was a, a base of a, just a light that I got at Home Depot that I'd used that ended up breaking for whatever reason. And so I just, I cut the top off of this, um, of the water bottle, and then I just added the light, kind of like in there. I don't, that's really hard to see. Uh, but yeah, it just it's really bright. Um, and it seems to work, so. Um, the, the setup seems to work pretty well right now. And so the next iteration will be a, um, I, see, I don't know if you see it there, I got a planter box right here. And that's going to go on the bottom shelf and then I'm going to hang a light up here. Uh, I'm going to do a CHL light this time. Um, not CHL, but a CFL light. And um, just because the LED lights are pretty dang expensive. And the next thing I'm adding is it'll be an automatic watering system, a drip watering system. So that stuff is all in route, and I'll show you that when it's done. But here we go. This is kind of a basic um, setup here um, to grow in an indoor urban environment, um, <laughs> trying to prevent you from killing your plants. Um, but yeah, uh, it's really cool. LED growing, I, I really like the idea of it. If you notice, it's red and blue lights. Something about the red and blue lights is 
the idea that uh, lights that that plants when they undergo photosynthesis really just use um, the red and blue areas of the of the visible light spectrum um, to undergo photosynthesis. Like hence they're green, so it, it they the plants absorb everything except for the you know except for that green green light. That's why they're green. So that's the idea behind it. But we'll see how it works. And um, anyways, that's my setup. Um, let me know if you have any questions about what I did. Um, I did follow some different um, tutorials and such online on Instructables and Make. Um, there's Garduino, Garduino Upgrade, a couple different things, and I can post it if you guys are interested. Um, but it's just a real simple setup. I'll probably keep this one and just put one single plant in here um, just to monitor and then to, to, to give it artificial light. Probably the plant up there, which isn't doing so well. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's that. Thanks.